apparently it was on the cusp, but it, you know, at it, excuse me, at any point it could have just fell apart. So yeah. I'm I'm really happy that it went through. I'm looking so forward to that movie. I know it's going to be a few years. What 2010, 2011, maybe something like that. Something like that. I don't know. God damn, movie making's a bitch, man. I mean, well, years it's to on this stuff. scale, but it's going to be worth the wait. I mean, a Guillermo del Toro directed Hobbit movie, the pair of movies is going to be awesome. I think the plan is 2010, 2011. I think that's what I heard. Yeah, that's no, that's what I heard too. But I, he's, they're, they're like gearing up to do it here in uh, uh, this. They're starting shooting this fall. Well, that's great, man. I, I no, do you do you think it's going to change visually very much from what they did with Lord of the Rings? I think. Well, if you look at Peter Jackson and Guillermo del Toro's style, the, the, here's two guys that come from the same kind of school of, of cinematography and, and, and of filmmaking. They, they really do – they tell very personal stories about, you know, characters that you just fall in love with. And they, they both borrow from the same people visually. They mm -hmm. were both inspired by the same stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think – I mean, if you look at Pan's Labyrinth and tweak that – towards peter jackson's style you end up with you you end up with a, a lord of, you end up with lord of the rings that looks just a little i, I think what yeah. you're going to see with guillermo is it's going to be a little more imaginative the no, creatures it, are going to look yeah. a little more a little less like what you see in traditional fantasy and a little he's going to twist it tweak it no I, I think looking at pan's labyrinth he's a great guy i'm gonna sound very nerdy here but he, he'll do a great representation of middle earth so yeah no so, i think i, I and, think it'll I think it'll work. I think uh, he'll add his own little flourishes to it, but overall, it's going to look like Jackson's world. And people, go watch that cartoon. That is that that cartoon. Which one? Is there so are two. No, there's 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 the Hobbit, which is a there's, Rankin Bass cartoon, there's, and there's the Lord of the Rings, which is done by Ralph Bakshi. Well, are you sure? What's I'm the other? I'm pretty Hobbit? sure there's two. Oh Hobbits. no, there's the Lord. Okay, I'm sorry. There's three versions. There's Ralph ba Ralph Bakshi's Lord of the Rings, yeah, and then there's Rankin Bass, who did two things. They did the Hobbit, and they did Return of the King. In which they tried to encompass a lot of stories together from uh, the Lord of the Rings series, but that that the Hobbit cartoon that's badass, man. That Gollum is scared to shit out of me when I was a kid. Dude, he looks I, like a frog, and I was like, "What the fuck is that?" And I, I was like, five I saw years that old. projected on the big screen. You saw it on the big screen. Yeah, they released that in theaters. No, Harry Harry had a sixteen millimeter print that he showed at Buttonathon too, and that was pretty sweet. Of the Hobbit. Of the Hobbit. That cartoon. Yeah, with the greatest adventure. Yes, and all that, all with, the, with oh, the soundtrack. Shit. Yeah, no, he showed that. That was that was awesome to see on the big. That's screen. That's the song they sing at the beginning. That song, I love that song. Greatest adventure. It always made me cry when I was a kid, man. Uh, that that's a badass cartoon. Y'all go see that shit, man. I'm recommending this to every kid out there. Go watch that. It, 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 that's what introduced me to the world of 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 J.R.R. Tolkien and Middle Earth. So, all right, moving on. Wesley Snipes, black ass is going to jail. You know man. what? It turns out the government what? bet on red. <laughs> I knew you were going to make some kind of joke. <laughs> You know what? I didn't bet on black. And Look what happened. Yeah, and Wesley Snipes bet on black a little oh, too much. On, you know what I bet on? What, what I bet on? Your black ass in jail for three exactly. years. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, no. somebody, you know he's going to show up and there's going to be a bunch of matchsticks there. That's going to be the beauty of it. What? Matchsticks? What Dude, you? have you not seen und, uh, 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 Undef... Uh, Undefeated. Oh, the, or, the boxing uh, movie that he was with Ving Rhames. Yeah, yeah, that's a that's Dude, a cool that ass movie, man. I love that movie. No, man. that movie, that movie. But is pretty cool. he spends the whole time movie talking like Clint Eastwood and building shit with with matchsticks. <laughs> well, he's gonna be doing that for real now. <laughs> yes, so. he is. He's three have a, three years, man. Write yourself a good screenplay, my man. Three fucking that's what years, you, that, dude. That's now, what what's, you get what's when, his case? He, how much did he owe the government? Oh, I, I heard. I, I don't know for sure. I, I really didn't memorize it. Leon man. blogged about it. It's <laughs> like I, twenty four million or something crazy. I apologize. Like that. Yeah, he owes a he owes a lot of. Oh, let's just say it's in the millions, which the is a lot is, of fucking is, money to the government. Now the the point is, and the reason why he's going to jail for it, unlike what happened to Willie Nelson. Okay, now let me say something here because that's what Leon put in his blog post. He he wanted to make it racial, and he said that. Oh fuck that, dude. Okay, I, I mean, I'm, I don't. I, Okay. Whoa, shit. Hold on. God damn. Leon put some on his page when I open it up and start playing music and it's too fucking loud. Hold um, Hold on. Just, Did you pause get, it? I, I, I didn't pause our thing. I, I don't even know if we're still talking. I got to pause his shit, though, because it's uh, too fucking loud. Okay. Uh, we're still going. Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Okay. So here, go ahead and do the Leon thing because I'll, 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 I'll 
refute. Well, he okay. You know, he just took the story and just put it up there. But at the end of his blog post, he put a picture of Willie Nelson. And here, I'll I'll find it right here. Let me. I got it right here. Let me pull it up. That last beer is yours. Go ahead. If you don't want it, I'll take it. But it's, I was saving it for you. Well, did you d- drink two already? I've had two already. It was five in there. You know what? Knock yourself out. I gotta go. I gotta work after this. Are you serious? I'm positive. You're not doing this because you feel guilty about Wesley Snipes, are you? No. Like, it's not white guilt. No, I've, I've got a <laughs> dude. I got to write tonight, and then I got to be up early tomorrow. I got a guy building a fence. You got some Mexicans building the fences. Which... I, I don't know what. No, I, I know I have a guy bringing a crew, which in Texas could mean a bunch of Mexicans. Could be to mean a bunch of the. There's not so many people in front of Home Depot tomorrow. Okay, here's what here's what uh, Leon put at the end of his post. It says, "Oh, oh, wait a minute. I'm starting at the wrong place." He, he makes a comment saying, "Ooh, the government is here to teach us a lesson," and. Oh, thanks for reminding me, Will. Oh, fuck, I'm all fucking this all up. Here. Ooh, looks like the IRS is being really hardcore. Want to make an example out of out of Wesley Snipes to let us know that there will be no preferential treatment. If you owe money, they will throw your ass in jail, even if you are a celebrity. And then at the end, he says, oh, thanks for reminding me, Willie. I meant even if you are a non-white celebrity, and he has a picture with Nelson. And see, that's finger. this is where that's horseshit. That's that's Leon being a douche. I love Leon like a brother. <laughs> I'm not trying to start trouble. Now, now that's, he is though, because here's the thing: Willie Nelson ended up with a 24 million dollar tax bill because he had a guy who his accountant stole his money. He said he paid the tax bill. Willie wrote the check. He cashed the checks, put them in an offshore account, and then once the the heat came on him, pulled a a 23 skidoo off to (laughs) an island that didn't have extradition and is living off Willie Nelson's $24 million. Wesley Snipes said, I believe the government has no right to take my money, so I'm not going to pay them. And when he went to court, said, you don't have the right to take my money. Here's the proof that, you know, the 20, whichever amendment it is, was the 13th Amendment, or, or I can't remember which amendment it is. But here's the proof it, it that was this amendment was amendments. never was never ratified. It was, you know, it was it was forced in. It was a government ploy. It was never properly made, and so I'm not responsible to pay the money. And the judge said, bullshit, you're going to jail. (laughs) And they gave him the maximum amount because he was trying to use his celebrity to make a point about the tax system that the judge disagreed with. Now, whether Wesley Snipes is correct or not, there's a lot of dispute and a lot of legal arguments. Some people actually get off with this defense. Some people never have to pay taxes again because the judge actually finds them uh, you know, innocent because there there is no proof that the law. A lot of judges are on the uh, uh, are told by higher ups that prosecute this is bullshit, and some judges won't even admit evidence, won't let people make their arguments, and those people go directly. So you to jail. don't think this is racial? You think it's a hardcore case? Of no, this is this is a hardcore case of somebody famous trying to point out something that could be a miss in the government that the government wishes would just go away, and everybody would pretend doesn't exist, and everybody pay their fucking taxes. Because back in the day, up until 1913, mm-hmm. taxes were only on business transactions. Income taxes, taxes on what we, it was, it ta- an income tax meant that an income was money you generated off of a transaction, not off of business. So like working for somebody, like going to McDonald's and working for eight hours, the money you got was not like considered. Like many of our listeners here. <laughs> yes. was not considered <laughs> income because trading work for money was not income. That was wages. Income was when you sold a product. So the only people who really paid money, income taxes, were businesses. In 1913, okay. that got changed to where we all paid, and all of a sudden corporations didn't have to pay so much. Damn, you got a history lesson up here, boy. Look at well, this, but man. this is – you need to yeah, understand like you've been this. To jail. Have you ever gone to jail for taxes? I have never before? gone to jail. I've okay. never even been arrested, dude. Are you kidding? Look okay. at me. All right. Uh, so um, – Wesley Snipes was contesting this based on the fact that the the laws passed in 1913, many people believed that they're bunk, that it was never properly ratified, and since it was never properly ratified, it doesn't really exist, and that there are loopholes because there's nowhere in the law that stipulates you have to pay. You know what I want right now? What? You got that movie 
What's it called? Undisputed? Undisputed. I, I want Ving Rhames to go to jail. <laughs> and I want him to go to the same no, jail Wesley Ving, Snipes is. Because the difference is Ving Rhames is a good actor. Uh, Wesley, no, don't say that. Well, Wesley oh, Snipes name one is a time great. Wesley Snipes was a good actor. I, I can name you several times well, he's a great one. actor. There was, I forgot the name of the movie, but he was in a wheelchair. And I saw it years ago. He play, it, it was a, a lot of people in the movie. And they play wheelchair-bound uh, people at a home. And he was excellent in that movie. Nobody saw that movie. Next movie. You but can't he was great in it. No, yeah. because I saw it years ago. But, but he you was said he could great name in movie. several movies. So uh, give Tuan me. Fu, he was great. He uh, was great in Yeah, Tuan he was Fu. great. He was great. He, he was actually really great in More Better Blues. He had a very small part in that, but he was actually pretty good in that movie. He's just what his problem is. He's a, he, and this is what Spike Lee even said. He's a great actor, and he's done some great things, but he chose to try to be a, a a big superstar by being an action hero. Yeah, he's he's trying to be the black Clint Eastwood. He he's gone no, to he, Clint Eastwood no, School wants, of Acting. You watch you watch several of his latest films. He squints and he's like, well, I don't think that. That's a good idea. Man, that's only in Blade. I mean, Blade. No, that's not only in Blade. That's in Undisputed. That's in, um, that's no. in uh, what was it, Passenger 57. Oh, he's been on black. No, it, no, he's, man, he doesn't squint in every movie he does. He's actually a great fucking actor. His problem is, I think, that I think Spike Lee is right. I, no, one, no, he wants Spike to be, Lee could totally yeah. be correct. I just no, have he never wants seen to, him do anything he wants incredible. To be, he wants to be Sylvester Stallone. He wants to be Schwarzenegger. He wants to be Bruce Willis. He wants yeah. to be a super celebrity, and he is. But in that choice, he neglected to like also take some roles that would well, he's, what he's become his Well, he's become Steven Seagal. Oh, yeah, he's I mean, doing he's, all those direct-to-video. Yeah, crap he's done some. I, mean, I even saw that dude on a on a on an infomercial with Chuck Norris trying to sell some exercise equipment. I'm dude, like, he's he's Come on, on the man. And now he's going to jail. Is are we really going to be sitting here waiting for the next you know Wesley Snipes movie? Like, what is Wesley Snipes going to get out of jail so he could make Passenger Fifty Eight? I tell you what, though. I think when he gets out, I, and I, I think he has some great movies ahead of him. I really yeah, do. just like uh, uh, the boxing career of uh, of what's his nuts after he came out, uh, Mike. Oh, Mike Tyson. I mean, I'm looking at this. He was he was great in New Jack City. He was actually really good in New Jack City. Yeah, you know, it was also great in New Jack City. Uh, parachute pants and. Uh, Oh, Jungle Fever. He was great in Jungle Fever, man. Yeah, in the early 90s, he was fantastic. The Water, the water Dance is the movie that he was in. And anybody who and thinks what year it, did The Water Dance come out? But it, but it doesn't matter what year. No, we're what talking year about was his that? Work. No, because we're no, talking yeah. about 2008. No, no, we're talking about him being capable of being a great actor. And I I, I, I tell anyone to, to rent The Water Dance who doubts that he is not what a good actor. What year did The Water Dance come out? Yeah, I'll tell you. I got it right here. It, it came out. I'm looking right now. Now you got me fucking doing research. Look at this shit. Look at this. I'm asking you to back your shit up is what I'm no, doing. No, 92. Came out 92. 92. But okay, it doesn't matter. 16 years ago. Find me a film in the last 15 years where he was good. No, I mean within the last 15 years, what, uh, Jungle Fever. <laughs> what year within was Jungle 15, Fever? Within the last that 15 years. That was like 90, years, 91, dude. I, no, that was 91. But I, I know because I. <laughs> no, 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 no. But I wouldn't. No, listen, seriously. It doesn't matter. No, no, it doesn't see, matter I'm, what I'm right year. There with you. I no. will, I will acknowledge somebody no. who is great and yeah. and, and, and love them for what they did. The problem is Wesley Snipes hasn't done a great job acting no, it, in the last decade and a half. I think he's no, even in his movies like Blade, he might not be doing great are acting. You a, but he, are but you he has a black he, apologist. He's he's he has great presence. And listen, I'm saying that this guy, at some point, he will go on to do great things. I'm guarantee you this because. It doesn't matter how long ago he gave a great performance. It's his potential, and he does have the great potential. Uh, hopefully, he learned his lesson, and he's trying to go. He's probably going to go on at some point and do other great things. Get over this whole action thing. So, I mean, he and I'm telling you right now, he will do some good things when he gets out. I mean, he might not have a, you know, he. Might, no, what are you laughing about? He, cause he I might. Just, I mean, he might not change soon. I mean, I'm not saying he's going to come out of jail and he's, he's going to come gonna, out. Gonna, go he's going to win Academy right Award. Right into the big hit, Wesley Texas Ranger. But I think, I think uh, Spike Lee, he had wanted to do a James Brown movie, and he wanted to do it with Wesley Snipes. And I think Wesley Snipes is going to go the. It probably it takes. It's going to take a lot longer. But everybody saw Jamie Fox, and Jamie Fox was doing comedies and action movies, and nobody thought he had it in him. No. Now, and and but we did see glimpses of Jamie Foxx's greatness in any given Sunday. Oh yeah. There were, I mean he was then, he had moments. And then of, he of followed greatness. up Ray with stealth. But that was made before Ray. 
and they re-released it after Ray because he was so popular. Oh, Stealth was so bad. Oh, that was a terrible movie. But I think the same things that happened with Wesley Snipes. I mean, everybody goes think, through a phase, you and think Wesley he's Snipes be in Stealth is, too. Yeah, he's gonna be in Stealth. Too. He's gonna be the new black guy in Stealth too. It's gonna be a Always talk. Bet on black. Yeah, it's gonna be a talking tank. Always I, pay your taxes. I think he's gonna like actually go on, and he's going to do. He's probably going to – he went through a long phase of doing these action movies. Give it some time. If he continues to act, he will do another great I role. guess we're not going to see any Black Panther movie in a while then. No, they actually are talking about doing a Black Panther maybe TV show. And they're talking about Jimon Hansu maybe, I think. Uh, it, they, uh, somebody posted something saying they're doing a Black Panther. For, for people who don't know, the Black Panther is a Marvel superhero. He's actually from Africa. He dresses up like a panther. Goes he's, out and he's, he's from back in the era of the 70s when they were trying to, uh, they were realizing they had a black audience and they needed to create black superheroes. During about the time they had Blade. and uh, Well, Blade came and, around. And Luke and Cage. Luke Cage, Power Man. And, uh, yeah. of course, uh, who could ever forget uh, uh, Falcon. Oh, the Falcon, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Maybe, who's the and, who is the giant black guy? The, the I don't Goliath. Know. Or, oh, the, oh, I didn't even know that. God, well, no, see, look this? at that. There's a, there, there are a lot more super, black superheroes. Now, see, I, I, I gotta say though, I was a big, I was very disappointed that Blade did not include some of my favorite things from the comic book that Blade well, came from. And he came from Spider Man, actually. No, oh, and Sword of Dracula, uh, uh, Tomb of Dracula, Tomb of Dracula. Whatever. I, that, I, that was one of my prized comics because that had one of the greatest covers of all time. This this awesome looking guy with a fro with wooden. <laughs> Knives, wooden <laughs> knives all down his chest, pulling a wooden knife up, going, "You're going, you're going down, sucker." Did he say that? You go, oh down? yeah, dude. Oh, that was, God. dude. That was the '70s, man. He, it was awesome. Was he holding uh, a Colt forty five? No, his no. He, he was, have a yeah, these, liquor. The original incarnation of Blade, he had wooden knives that he would throw into the chests of vampires, <laughs> and that was awesome. That would have been so cool if Wesley Snipes had an afro like that. And Blade. No, you know, I was fine without the afro, but I, I, they just so they dressed him up with all the silver. I remember and the Blade. Guns. Yeah, I was about to say the he had wooden on a, like, knives a, were just such a cool touch. Blade had on a real gay outfit. Fit back in the seventies. Well, right? everyone had gay yeah, of course, outfits yeah. in the seventies. I tell you what, we're running on. We're, we're about to hit the five minute mark. You want to do some email? Not really, but let's do email. Okay, we're gonna do email anyway. Uh, let me tell you something. First of all, though, I don't have the email, but some guy sent me an email. I don't know if it's true or not, but if it is, it's fucking funny. Some guy actually wrote me <laughs> and said, "I'm with this really cool, great looking girl. We got together." We finally spent the night together. You can imply what you can from spend the night. And he said, when I got up in the morning, she wet the bed. And then he, his question to me was, this girl is so hot and I haven't had anything as good as this. Do I overlook the wetting the bed thing? Or do, and, and apparently the making love was great. Do I overlook that? Or do I, do I go look for something else and get, run as fast as possible from the bed wetter girl? It depends. You know, really, that's one of those questions of what's your tolerance for wetting? I mean, some guys are into that. Some guys are not. Yeah, uh, if you are Kelly, I mean, you'd probably love it. I mean, dude, if she's really <laughs> hot, if she's really awesome, that's probably why she's with you is because every time she's with a guy that's up to her level, <laughs> he doesn't think, you know what, I'll just go and get plastic sheets. What the fuck? See, they put a little yeah. plastic underneath the sheets. It crinkles a bit, but you know what? If, I, yeah, I'm with you. I say if she's that hot, I mean, I'm talking about she's hot. You know, now the thing what? is, is we also shouldn't be dating eight-year-olds. That's something uh, we should no, address. He, come on, now, let's leave there's a bed wet. Oh, come on. You about <laughs> to, it's a bed wedding joke, you, for the love of Christ. You're about to piss that dude off that hates. He can piss, he can, you know what? I'm not the one fucking a bed wetter, all right? I, <laughs> I, I say, look, this is what you do. I mean, if she's really that hot, and I'm talking about that hot, buy that bitch some adult diapers and stick with it. Just learn to live with it until she gets ugly. And if she's still wet in the bed, get the hell out of there. You know what? Honestly, though, all joking aside, sit down and talk to her. Yeah. Find find out what the real situation is. Be be straight up honest. Don't don't giggle about it. Don't be freaked out about it. Say, hey, look, let's can we talk about? Well, you that know, was going to be my serious. And, but don't be don't be. Let's talk about the other night. Just. Be you know, find out if this is a normal thing. Find out if it, you know, that was just an accident. Because you know, some on rare occasions, some people will have that happen. Was she I, really drunk yeah. that night? Because some people do. No, that she told him that she had a problem with that. And my, oh, my yeah, and my serious answer was going to be all joking aside. A lot of adults have this problem. Okay, not a lot, but there is. This is a problem with some adults, and there's help for it. And if you do sit down and talk to her. You can suggest a lot of places that she could go to, starting with the internet. Because I went on the internet and looked up the, the looked up adult bedwetting, and you can get help for this. 
So if she's that hot, <laughs> when, when you look that up, how many porn sites came up? Man, I got you don't. <laughs> no, I do know. That's it's, that's it, why instantly it's like you Google adult bed wedding. You're not gonna you're not gonna get a lot of helpful sites at first. Yeah, no, I got all kind of pee me and all that kind of stuff. It was it was bad, but that's what I say. You're and you're right. So I'll you talk know what, to dude, help, Seriously, man. if she's at, you know, hot or not, is she a cool chick? I mean, really, because, you know, there are some incredible people in this world that have one flaw that people are like, oh, God, you can fix that shit. And it's, you know, it's it's like yeah. it's like buying a house. that has got a leaky roof. It's like, oh, man, this place sucks. You fix that roof. That house yeah. is awesome. And, yeah. You know, if this girl looks good, if you guys hit it off, if she's awesome, dude, sleep at her house for a while. And I think, <laughs> sleep on the edge of yeah. the bed. Until you get her some help, buy her some Depends. That's all you got to do. And then when she gets the help, hey, you two, you got a hot girlfriend. And then when she's finally settled that, she'll leave you to get a hot guy. And, <laughs> so, well, and, and, the, and the truth <laughs> is, nobody else is going to know she wets the bed. So, exactly. So you know she, what? They're, she's going to, you know, you're going to look good while you're, you know. My my suggestion is sleeping let, on her keep, let her keep wetting the bed. That way she's a keeper. Because <laughs> so, the moment she gets that settled, she's going to be like, what the fuck is it? Why was I with him? I was settling. And no, I'm kidding, man. You, you'll get it worked out. So let's go ahead and get to this other email. Uh, let's see. Uh, Marty Gransberry said it's his birthday. Everybody wants a birthday shout out. Marty. See, and I, what did I tell you? Once no, you start this shit, everybody I, wants no, one. No, I don't mind doing it, though. I like saying happy birthday to people. They, All they, right, yeah, be the Fred Willard of the no, internet. No, 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 no. Man, happy 100th you, birthday. No, people, they come to the site. They, they I, that's, It's the least I could do, man. I have no qualms about doing that. It's, all, it's gratitude. I, I, I love Fred Willard. Saying, Willard, yeah, Willard who are you Scott. talking about? Willard, Willard Scott. Scott. Who's who's fucking like Willard Scott? Willard Scott, Scott was the old weatherman for NBC that would shout out on a person's hundredth oh. birthday. No, uh, yeah, it's cool. It's just a shout out. It's like, hey, happy birthday. It's no big deal. I I, I love showing my gratitude towards people. So, happy birthday, Marty. There you go. Uh, let's see. Uh, it's, <laughs> this is a good question here. <laughs> and you know what? Okay, I want to get through these two emails here. Okay. But we we are approaching the hour mark. I'm gonna stop and just in in. Render this real quick, and then we'll come back and read these two emails. Two emails. All right, hurry up. Well, then just, just, just no, fucking do it. Rush, don't rush me. Let me finish. I, I got to say this. I got to apologize to you properly. Let me do this, and I will read these two emails to you very quickly. And I will take a piss while you do it. Hurry See, up. it works out perfectly. Just just do the fucking thing. Man, how many times have you come just over here? Just do the goddamn, just press you, the goddamn button. You always Push say, I, the goddamn you button. Like, I got to go, and you stay for another hour talking to me. You ain't that much of a rush. Dude, I, I'm you, in a rush you, tonight, dude. You ain't got nowhere to fucking go. T- push the fucking button, you, monkey. You ain't got nowhere push to be. Push the goddamn button. Being racist with me, call me a monkey. No, you, I'm calling you, you a monkey you, because you that's him? your job. Push the Every, button. Everybody, did you hear him? He called me a monkey. That's right. I called you a monkey, and that's because you're black, not because you're a moron. Exactly. There you go. You heard him. He's a racist. Okay, I'm going to stop this now. Go pee. I like the way you tried to accuse me. When you accuse came back. you? It you, came out, dude. Of writing that email myself. See, I, you, well, I, you didn't write the email. you just like, oh, I got an email from some guy. He said there was this problem like with went, this girl wet in the bed. Turns out it was actually you. No, I didn't You're the me. guy who ends Fuck up with you, some man. fine I girl wet in the bed. You wanted to know what Fuck your buddy God. Carlisle thought about it without me of this knowing shit. that you were you know, <laughs> screwing some I bedwetter. Got. I'm going to find a guy's name. I knew you. I, and the thing is, I knew you were going to do that. You're going to make up the guy's name is what you're going to fucking do. Hey, dude, well, whoever this was, I forgot your name, and I apologize, but write this motherfucker over here and tell him that I didn't make this shit yeah, up. Yeah, please. This of all yeah. weeks, in my busy week, please tell me. Write to you me and tell me about your busy, bedwetting man. girlfriend. Send a picture or two. If she's if she's naked, nope. you score extra points. Okay. No, no, nobody's going to do that. Now you're asking for pornography. Fuck you, man. I didn't write the email. Okay, of course I'm asking you. Who doesn't want pornography? Not a, not somebody peeing on each other. Like, what kind I, of no, shit I didn't you ask to? for somebody pe- yeah, This you girl's did. apparently fine. You, you know what? Proof. She just happens to be a bedwetter. You want I'd like proof to see of the peeing. You want proof of the peeing. I, I don't want proof of the peeing. I want okay. proof of hotness and, okay. you know, vag <laughs> All right. Okay. I want to prove that, you know, there's grass on the JJ. Oh, you nasty son of a bitch, man. See, now, now you being nasty for a change. Hey, you're the one that brought up bedwetting. I didn't bring it up. This guy brought it up. This yeah, so-called sure. this, guy. This guy. This imaginary guy on the fuck. internet. It's kind of like my girlfriend in Canada. Fuck off, man. I didn't write this shit. <laughs> anyway, so let's get to this question here. Since you got to go so quick. See, that's what I'm talking about. You said bullshit. I didn't say got to go so quick. You yeah. did. I said, let's get this knocked out. No, let's you're like, do it. I got to get out of here. You ain't got to go. You look, you ain't got shit to do. I like, got work up, to do tonight, I, I, and then I got this. to work on my house tomorrow because I bought a house. 
I don't have this fucking house. You fucking living in the projects. You ain't got no house. Yeah, I'm living in the projects. <laughs> Sex, you live in Section Eight housing. You ain't got shit to do. Yeah, moving a couch you found you found by the dumpster. That's what you're gonna do. Hey, look. Okay, this email right here. All right, this better says, be good. This better not be. You guys rock. Now, when have I read that? I have not read that at all. I have not done one of those. I read, I read one from a girl who had. No, you've cancer. read a couple. You've read. No. There were a couple before that, no. and then that was the. Well, this one's okay because she has cancer. Okay, I, I ain't gonna argue with you. No, oh, don't yeah. argue. Just, I, I just as I, I said, it better be good because you made a big deal out of this. I recently watched Wreck for the first time with my friend on an afternoon, and I jumped, screamed, and felt really nervous throughout. Now, what this person wants to know, he says, later on that night. When my friend had gone and I went to sleep, I couldn't stop being afraid of dark rooms, dark hallways, and whatnot. When I tried to sleep, all all that pops up in my mind is that zombie girl or the zombie lady from Rick. So if you can answer the question for me above. Oh, he did ask a question above here. Let me go up. And yeah, and you're also kind of throwing out spoilers for Rick. And his question is. How do you go back? I'm sorry. How do you get back from a movie that truly scared the crap out of you? What are your strategies to forget about it? And that's the fun of going to see a scary movie. Leaving the, I mean, that's really effective. Coming back and being scared even when you've left. I, I can't give you any advice. I say enjoy it because I enjoy being scared from some things. I mean, that that means that that movie was truly effective. I mean, what do you think? Yeah, no. I mean, if if it scared the crap out of you, strategy wise, you know, I watch something else. Uh, <laughs> well, dude, yeah, watch well. watch something that kind of re- makes fun of what you're doing. I mean, if a zombie movie is scaring you, watch Shaun of the Dead. You know, uh, you know, laugh at zombies. You know, watch watch movies that will you know make you think of it in more of a comical way. Yeah. Uh, I haven't had a movie scare me like that since the original Ring. What's, uh, or, well, I, not the original Ring, but you know the the, the American, American original, ver- the American version of Ring. Uh, what I've, I've gone through this before, and what I, and I believe what's happening with you. And this is and the guy who wrote this. His name is uh, Charlton. Now, and, uh, we're, we're, are you so scared at night that you wet the bed? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> are you a hot guy and some Dude, ugly girl watch this you guy? Up? This 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 imaginary guy has gotten his. Uh, his girlfriend to, to listen to spill with him, and now she's she's in tears, going, "They're making fun of me. They're laughing at my expense." Yeah, that's a fault. Dude, that's if you're hot, fault. we'll we'll totally forget it. Uh, yeah, exactly. If you're hot, you ain't got nothing to worry about. If wetting the bed is is the least of your worries, if you're hot, then fuck it, you ain't got no problems. But this guy right here, Charlton, that is you, and, isn't and, it? Shut up, Char- Charlton. Normal. His, he goes by normal man. And what I would say is, I, I've been through this before. I, I would say that you you have an imagination. You're probably a very rational guy. You're probably not scared of a lot of things, but you have a ma- an imagination that runs away with you. And you pirate movies, so and, way to go. But you probably, you go to bed at night, and while the movie prob- probably didn't scare you that much, you start picturing things. You start hearing shit, and there's your mind turning against you. And there's nothing to do except just let it run its course. That's I mean, karma getting back at you for downloading illegally a movie. Oh, stop it. This guy probably lives in some country where the movie isn't out there yet. Yeah, I'm not going to sure get into this with you. I want, you know what? One of these days, I'm going to clarify to you my whole deal with, with, with this priority. That would be day. awesome. Yeah. I, I, and, and you will understand. And on that day better. when the Berber, yeah. bluebirds fly out yeah. of my ass. And they don't already? But, no. You know, just let it run its course, man. I mean... A few days from now. And he's, he's not scared anymore, dude. This doesn't help him any. Yeah. I mean, well, probably by the time not. we got around to answering his email, yeah, he's like, fuck exactly. you guys. You probably like right now, like, shit, it did run his course. What the fuck? What are you telling everybody I'm scared for? I'm a man, motherfucker. No, nah, I, I, I did this after the Blair Witch Project because the Blair Witch Project is one of those movies where whether you liked it or not, and a lot of people are now saying, fuck that movie. I know what it was. Well, I ain't that guy. When I saw it, and even when I saw it, I was like, eh, whatever. It was cool, uh, and it was actually kind of spooky, but... Hey, big deal. And then that night, when I start thinking about all the things that you didn't see in the Blair Witch, I start making up with my mind. And I let my imagination run run away with me, and I got scared. And I there was nothing I could do about it except after a week, it was gone, and that was it. So, hey, it'll be gone after a while. You'll be all right. Bitch. Yeah, exactly. Be a man. Shit, you little fuck. What the fuck is wrong with you, pussy? <laughs> get, a, get a fucking teddy bear and sleep with your mom. That's what you do. Scared the cat? No, it's it, it'll it'll be gone after a few days. But in the meantime, just relishing the fact that it was a really enjoyable movie. So, now, let me see here. What do we got? What's this? 
last email. Oh, uh, it's nothing. It, it, I'm, it just one of our members. A lot of people have apparently been asking about him. It's a guy named Mr. J. He, he just said he'd been off for a while because something happened with his his computer, but he'll be back on. So for people who miss Care Mr. J, about I, oh, Mr. J. Not, he, some people have been asking. I even got some people asking me, "What what happened to Mr. J?" Like I know. Well, he'll be back. He said he'll be his, right. His back. cap locks key finally held down. <laughs> he was able to write in, in you know only. You know, he was able to write properly. So, that's right. You you had me laughing about that when he started writing messages, trying to be all cryptic like the Joker, and he was, he was spelling shit with capital letters here and lowercase there. Mm. You yeah, you had me laughing with that uh that comment about oh yeah yeah guy news. What did you say? He uses his cap remember. locks his caps lock key too much or something. I have no clue. Anyway, I'm it the was good. A long time. I'm the good guy here, Mr. J. Uh, Carlisle's an asshole. So I am saying. a total fucking dick. Exactly. And we'll be glad to have you back when you do get back regularly. So that, that's uh, that's the show, man. Yeah. Did you have anything you want to part with? Anything you want to say? No, no. It's been a... I mean, you know what? I what? will say something. This what? Is, Uh-oh. Shit. Yeah, no. This is... Uh, enjoy this because this is the the last Akoko of the non-summer season. From here on out, we're going to be talking about summer blockbusters every oh, fucking week. Right. Next yeah. week's going to be all about Iron Man. Iron Man and from week. that point on, every week is going to be summer blockbuster week up until late July dumping ground. And that's where, you know, once we hit the, the, the third, fourth week of July, that's where things start getting sketchy. But we're still talking about blockbusters. So we got some good stuff coming up is what you're saying. Well, we've got some big stuff coming some up. We'll stuff. see if it's yeah. good. I mean, well, it'd be good for us to talk about. It's good yeah, material but, but for us. This is this is the last time we're going to be talking about like lots of small movies. This is the last time we're going to be talking about you know big gambles, uh, this kind of stuff. Weekly news is often going to get trumped by uh, you know hundred and twenty million dollar blockbusters. The, the days of uh, eighteen million dollar number ones are mm-hmm. over, my friend. No more bedwetting hobbits and western it's, snipes. It's, it's going to be it's, it's going to be now, for huh? the next three and a half months, guys. It's all uh-uh. blockbusters. You heard Carla. It's summer, on now. Summer season has started, my man. This is where this is where we get crazy. So uh, enjoy it. Clench your ass cheeks. It's on now. It, it's on, bitch. <laughs> all Bring right. Bring on man. Iron Man. Bring <laughs> on Get Smart. Well, hey, that was that was. Bring on Indiana Jones and the aging superstar. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, man! I'm trying to wrap this up. You got to get out of here now, right? Yeah. All right. <laughs> no, it was it was a good one tonight, man. A lot of yeah. fun. So yeah, not too bad. Yeah. So there we go. That's it. God say good night to everybody. And uh, always bet on black. <laughs> and, no, don't bet on black because your ass is going to end up in jail for three years. So hey, you'd have a really cool cellmate though. <laughs> good night, everybody. All right. See you. Thanks.